What you're looking at is installations in the U.S. by market segment by quarter for the past couple of years. Generally speaking, you know, it's a good trend. You want to see a graph up and to the right. Um, we've been seeing pretty substantial growth. The U.S. market doubled in 2010. It doubled again in 2011. In 2012, we're, we're seeing growth. The U.S. continues to be a rare source of strength for demand in an extraordinarily difficult global solar landscape for any supplier. It's a real problem. How are we going to continue to lower costs if we believe that module prices can't fall much lower? Certainly, I think if we put our collective heads together, uh, we can figure out a way forward. We own the entire value chain from silicon manufacturing, wafer, cell, and module. Um, we also do system development in certain markets. So um, as you could probably guess, we have a very vested interest in um, the topic that we're trying to discuss here today. I always try to make sure I take away one key, one key learning point from every conference, and so far the, the, my favorite is uh, that solar and, and uh, natural gas are frenemies. Uh, I think that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a keeper for me, but I think it also applies to all the other renewable energy solutions out there. All the analytics, all the even solar and wind and battery power, they're all kind of frenemies, and they all have different applications, and what the industry really, really needs is more people that are more intelligent about being creative technically, development-wise, and financially, and being able to pick and choose the right solutions for the right application. Mm -hmm.